This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 2nd of March. I'm James Spann. A wild weather ride this week. Warm day, cold day, ice, snow. We've got it all here in the forecast. Let's go in there and see if we can sort this thing out for you. First off, some Skycam shots to give you an idea of what's happening this afternoon. It's cloudy and it's wet in many places. This is coming from Gadsden. Low clouds are over the city there. Fultondale, rain falling there in northern Jefferson County. And raining in Trustville at the same time. Got a, a big storm in the southwest United States producing rain and snow back in the uh, southwest U.S. That will be lifting out, producing some inclement weather for us in coming days and maybe some icing problems before the week is over. That's the radar at 1.56 this afternoon. Pretty heavy showers uh, passing through parts of Birmingham, uh, up toward Jasper, down toward Pell City and Talladega. We'll maintain the chance of occasional rain showers tonight. Temperatures have not changed much since this morning. Birmingham at 50, 40s to the north. There's a nearly stationary front north of Birmingham that will be moving north tonight. In fact, in many places, temperatures will actually rise overnight tonight. Tomorrow is going to be a warm day with highs in the 70s. How about that? Around the nation, cold air lurking not that far away, and that's going to be pulled southward down in here late Wednesday and Wednesday night. Setting the stage for problems. Already, winter storm watches in effect for much of West Tennessee, North Mississippi, much of Arkansas. Inevitably, they will be needed for parts of Middle Tennessee and North Alabama. Uh, those could be issued later today or maybe tomorrow morning. This is the SPC guidance on the chance of freezing rain accumulation. Uh, and this is from uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm sorry, 6 o'clock Wednesday morning until 6 o'clock Thursday morning. In very high numbers, 80% uh, there around the Mississippi Delta. Numbers are 70% over North Alabama. No chance there is a, you know, there could be some significant icing here Thursday morning. That's the uh, main headline of this forecast for sure. And thankfully, no severe weather problems expected. This is the day two convective outlook from SPC. No organized severe weather. And the same thing on day three, which is Wednesday. There could be some thunder, but again, uh, severe storms not expected. And that's good. All right, model fans, the GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon at 500 millibars. We've got this warm ridge nosing in from the Gulf, a big trough in the west. At the surface, we have a 1,003 millibar low that is located near Madison, Wisconsin. And we're obviously in a warm, soupy air mass. There could be a few showers tomorrow, but I don't think it rains a lot. Uh, could there be some rain? Absolutely, but again, not an all-day rain. Uh, this is uh, tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock off the NAM, really not showing much. And uh, the NAM is printing 76, by the way, tomorrow for Birmingham. Uh, parts of South Alabama could see low 80s. Uh, spring fever will be running rampant, and people will totally think we're a lunatic for forecasting ice problems. Now, this is Wednesday at noon. The models have trended a tad slower with the progression of the Arctic air, Wednesday at midday, we should see an icing event from Dallas-Fort Worth to Little Rock up to about Memphis and Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, during the day Wednesday, uh, we just have a good chance of rain, uh, periods of rain Wednesday, and there's going to be a very sharp thermal contrast. And again, the, the guidance has come in a little slower. This is the NAM. Uh, valid uh, Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock, and you can see it doesn't take much of a genius to figure out the cold front location. Uh, and that's going to drop steadily southward, and uh, that will kind of you know deflect back the chance of icing down here until probably after midnight uh, Wednesday night, if indeed this is correct. Uh, this is midnight Wednesday night coming off the GFS, and it's got the freeze line, that red line from near Reform to Jasper to Garden City to Scottsboro. North of that line, Wednesday night, sleet and freezing rain. South of that line, rain. Uh, Birmingham is still above freezing at midnight, but by 6 a.m. Thursday, that's just nasty looking. The freeze line is running from near, uh, goodness, uh, Sweetwater to Verbena to Ashland to Lake Wadawi. North of that line in a shallow cold air mass, it's freezing rain and sleet. That's going to be one of the hard parts to define. If it's more sleet... That's better for us in that you're not going to have, you know, big power outages in this. But if it's more freezing rain, that's the big problem. That would create major ice accumulation. And back in the deeper cold air, the rain and the freezing rain changes to snow back around the shoals. 
And then Thursday at noon, the event is winding down. But this is suggesting potential for freezing rain and sleet deep into South Alabama, almost down to Monroeville and Montgomery. Wow. So how much freezing rain will fall? This is coming off Buff Kit, uh, and this is just taking basically data off the GFS because the NAM's not quite within range, and uh, it's showing only six hundredths of an inch. But the European is much more bullish. Uh, this is the accumulated freezing rain uh, for the six-hour period from midnight Wednesday night to 6 a.m. Thursday. It's got a half inch up around Gadsden and uh, Boaz with about a uh, three-tenths of an inch in Birmingham, and that would be much more significant if this is right. And uh, you just got the feeling somebody's going to be nailed with enough freezing rain problems here to cause some uh, tree limbs to break, branches to break, power lines affected. Uh, there could clearly be some power outages here. But again, it, it's still very early in the game. This could be anything from a nuisance to a, a very damaging ice storm. The truth probably somewhere in the middle. But clearly we'll highlight the chance of freezing rain and sleet late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Uh, the core threat for Birmingham probably starts a little after midnight Wednesday night up in the northern part of the state around the Shoals and Huntsville. That could start as early as 8 or 9 o'clock Wednesday night. Uh, looking for snow? Head north. How about Kentucky? I'm seeing some 10-inch numbers there. Kentucky and West Virginia. And again, this is showing, this is, by the way, from WPC, the 75 percentile. This worked out very well for the last event. It's got uh, 2 and 3 inches up around Muscle Shoals and Florence. But for us, again, our part of the state, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, mostly freezing rain and sleet, not snow. Public forecast, uh, the better chance of freezing rain and sleet and ice north of a line from near Livingston to Clanton to uh, Roanoke. We've got ice accumulation up to a quarter inch. Uh, and then up to the north, freezing rain changing to snow. There could be significant travel impacts. And where the ice accumulates a good bit, there could be some power outages. So we'll be much more specific with this forecast uh, tomorrow in the package tomorrow morning. Hey, Friday looks good. Now, Friday morning is going to be very cold uh, where there's snow and ice down. Uh, we're probably going to see lows well down in the teens. But the high should be in the 40s. And then Saturday, as we start the weekend, pretty nice. Mostly sunny with a high in the 50s. And the same thing on Sunday. So for the weekend, lots of sun, no snow, no ice. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s both days. Monday of next week, troughing over the east, ridging in the west. And again, that just looks uh, cool and dry with highs in the 50s. This is the end of the forecast. Thursday of next week, the 12th of March, we've got ridging now over the eastern part of the continent. And that suggests uh, that the weather will be quiet. Maybe showers and thunderstorms off to the west, but again, nothing significant there. Temperatures coming off the ensembles. You know, after this cold shot at the end of the week, look at that. We go back in the 60s and kind of stay there. That'll be refreshing through mid-month. Let's hope that uh, happens to hold up. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.